In this video, we're going to finish setting up WordPress, and I'm going to show you how to add product banners to your widget area. I'm going to show you how to modify the appearance of your theme to make it look just a little bit better, and look much better, actually. And I'm going to show you how to format text and add links to your posts. And what I mean by add links mean add affiliate links to your posts. So let's go ahead and get started with that. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to visit the product vendors, their affiliate page, which for me, it's Ted Wood, Ted's Woodworking, their affiliate page. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab some banner links. And you can see right here, if I just click on the banners, they have a whole bunch of different links. And this, on my particular site, this little widget area over here on the right, it's kind of narrow. So we're going to want to be using a narrow banner. But if we scroll through the banners, you can see that they have all kinds of banners that could potentially fit. This one right here looks pretty nice. Not too big. This one here looks pretty nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy this right here. Just copy everything just as you see it. Okay. And then go back over to your widget area and paste in that code that you get from your vendor. And what you're going to need where this says XXXX, you need to put in your ClickBank ID. Okay. And if you don't have a ClickBank ID, just go ahead, write to ClickBank, sign up as an affiliate. They'll give you an ID. It's really easy. And we can just go ahead and save. Now, when we go ahead and refresh my page over here, this new banner is going to go ahead and show up. So you can see now my ads that I just added have now shown up on the right hand side. So now another thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead. This particular theme has a couple or a few footer area widgets that I don't want to waste. So I'm going to go ahead and use up a couple of these. And the way that I do that is just over here. I'm going to go ahead and add it to footer area one. Okay. And then right there, I want to go ahead and grab a smaller, like this one, a smaller little banner that'll fit right in there. I'll go ahead and paste that. Go ahead, enter in my credentials, my ClickBank user ID, hit save. And then I also want to add one more, another kind of like square one, which I guess I'll, this one is probably a little bit too big, but we'll see. Go ahead, add that. And this is, you don't need to add all these. But I do want to go ahead and add one into the third widget area too. Add widget and then just go ahead and paste in your banner code for that. Okay. And then make sure that you add save. Click on that save button. And then you can go ahead and check out what your site looks like. Just go ahead. Once that's saved, just go ahead and hit refresh here. And then check it out. Your, your banners are over here. You got some more banners down here. This is all good. Banners make you money. So we'll go ahead and leave those for right now. That's all good. We've added in our banners. Now what I'd like to do is just make a couple of changes over to the site, the site right here, just to make it look a little bit better. And the way that we'll do that is we'll just go right here. We can go to theme options. Okay, and what we can do here is we can go ahead, we can change the color, we can make this a black site instead of a white site if we wanted. We can change our link color, we can change how the content is displayed in our site. For right now, I'm happy with the, the color of the site, but what I do want to do is go ahead and change up this header right here. Because the image that is being shown here, it's really, it's not doing anything for the site. So I could go ahead, upload a new image, and you can see it's really easy to do. Just choose the image you want to upload. But this theme lets me remove the header image. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. That's going to make the site look a lot better. It's also going to load a little bit quicker. We'll save the changes. Once again, go visit this. 
hit refresh, say it's going to be a little bit tighter right here, a little bit better. So those are a couple of changes that we can add right off the bat to make it look better. We can add menus. I'm not too concerned about that right now. A lot of times though, when you are making an affiliate site, you might want to add like a, a terms of service and a privacy policy on your site. I don't want to give you any legal advice, but it would be a good idea to go ahead and have that on your site. We can change the background. We can make it a picture background if we want. It's pretty neat what you can do. Right off the bat, the one thing that we do want to change too with this particular site, just to get rid of it, because this sample page, we don't want that. So just go ahead, send that right to the trash. And now what we want to do is we want to go back to our posts here and we want to make them look a little bit better and also add some links to it. So we'll go into one of these posts and what we can do is we can make things bold. This right here, it's just like your word processor, just like Microsoft Word or Open Office word processor. What you see is what you get. So we can make changes with all this right here. WordPress has this built-in visual editor. And if you click on this right here, we can toggle that toolbar right there so that we can see even more formatting options that we have right here. But the main thing that I want to show you, the thing that's most important is adding some links, okay? Links to the product that you're creating. What you do is you highlight whatever you want to be made into a link, and then you click on this link right here, insert edit link. And what we'll do right here is you get from your, the product that you're promoting, okay? I'm going to Ted's, they'll give you your hop link. So just go ahead and copy that and paste that right into there, make sure you do go ahead and enter in your information, okay? You paste that right in there. I choose to open the link in a new window so that they won't leave our site because hopefully they'll stick around our site and maybe click more links. So go ahead, click the open link in new tab. We can title this woodworking tips. And then just go ahead, add link. And now what's going to happen is that link has now become, or this, this text here has now become a hyperlink. And it's very easy to do. Just go ahead, once again, select the text that you want to link. Go ahead, insert edit link. Paste in the URL of the product that you're promoting, your affiliate link. Click on add link and the link will be added. And if we go ahead and update this, you'll see that when we go back to our site, you can see that these links, or this text has now become a link. Just refresh this. You can see right here. When I click on this link, I'm brought to this product Hi. page. Which is awesome. That's how you make links. And then you can also, you know, make things bold, we can bold woodworking. We can just make it look a little bit better, like a magazine article or an article that you would read in the newspaper would look, so that it looks right. The right things are bolded. The right things are italicized. You really don't have to spend too much time with that, but you can set up all that. You can set up lists, all kinds of things. What I'm going to do right here, I'm going to just go ahead and bold that hold my links right there, update it. And then when we go over to my page, you can see that that's gone ahead and made those bold now. And it's just a little bit easier to see. So that's how you can format some text and add links to your posts. Not too difficult to do. You're gonna to wanna to do that to all your posts. Make sure you have links in there. We can even add in, right off the bat, let me just show you how easy this is. We can go ahead and add in banners from our website too that we're promoting. Like this is a nice big banner if we want. We can go ahead and copy that and paste this code right into here. The way that you'll 
paste code is instead of going to the visual editor, you need to go to the text editor, okay? And then just find down to the spot where you were, which is right here. Go ahead, paste that right there. Click on update. Always make sure whenever you update something in WordPress, make sure you hit the update button. That's essentially the save button. And now when we go ahead and refresh this again, you're going to see that this nice big ad that we just added for Ted's is going to be showing up. And you can see it. It's right there. So that's how you add links and format text. It's really easy to do. So what you want to do now is go ahead and add at least three to five posts onto your site so that you have a site that doesn't just have one post. At least add three or five. Use that content from the product creators and you'll have a site that looks you know, somewhat like this in no time at all.